This woman was raped five times by the Soviet army, and this time she was even insulted by the spit. In Berlin, such tragedies happen every day. Women are no longer individuals, they are just victims of war. In 1945, World War II was drawing to a close. Berlin, the heart of Germany, lay in ruins under the Fusilite Offensive. Unable to resist, the German population took refuge in dark bomb shelters to survive. Soon, however, the Germans were defeated, and thousands of Soviet soldiers poured into the city. With the attitude of winners, they partied and looted in the streets of Berlin, venting their repressed fears and longing for an armistice. Women, as a special wartime object, became the spoils of war and sexual tools of soldiers. Without shelter, women are forced out of shelters and into the streets. The Soviets flirted with the poor women with food. The long war has their hormones pumping. They gradually lost control of their pent-up desire. But what is more terrible is that some German men, in order to survive, they take the initiative to devote their wives. In the face of such violence, most people chose silence. This cowardly attitude also emboldened the Soviet army. More and more Berlin women are the subject of their indulgence. Nina is one of a group of humiliated German women. She was a journalist who had traveled to 12 countries and lived a sophisticated high life. At the height of the war, she returned to Berlin of her own accord. Her husband is at the front and she didn't know if he was still alive. She is here alone waiting for her husband to come home. See a woman in the bomb shelter was pulled out by the Soviet army to bully. The kind Nina saved her, but after the woman escapes, she locks the door and Nina becomes a target for the soldiers. In order to survive, Nina pretends to say yes and lures him deep into the shelter and locks him up. She returned to the service to find the commander of the Soviet army and complain to him about the atrocities of the soldiers. She wants commander to help them, but his manner was very cold. All they said was that our soldiers were healthy. The remark seemed a tacit acknowledgement. Nina is disheartened, but the events that make or break are still behind. A woman was caught by a soldier and raped by the man. After the Soviet occupation, countless women in Berlin became sexual tools. After being raped by soldiers, Nina is left on the side of the road like a broken doll. A kind widow took her into the attic. There was often harassed by the Soviet army and the women were scared and run away. But it's useless. The city is covered with Soviet troops and their atrocities continue. Women are chosen like lambs. Some women and themselves. Others are beaten to death no matter how miserable the women looked. The Soviet soldiers, who had already lost their minds, show no mercy. Watching the soldiers slowly approach, Nina is unusually calm. She didn't know where she was going and she knew there was no point in running. Soon, four or five soldiers Saturday around the room, raping her one by one. Nina didn't and makes a sound in the process, but breaks down and cries after everyone leaves. She's gonna live and wait for her husband to come back, even with this way. But after being insulted by a rude soldier, Nina can't take it anymore. She once again summoned the courage to seek refuge with the commander. But commander remained unmoved, because what they were going through, the people of the Soviet Union had also gone through, in the face of commander's indifference. Nina loses all hope. She realized she couldn't go on like this. Rather than being gang raped by soldiers, she would use her body to find a reliable refuge. Soon she picked a lieutenant on the street. Nina withstands her disgust and tries her best to please the lieutenant in order to get protection and exchange for resources to survive. However, lieutenant only wants to satisfy his own desires and has no intention of helping Nina. In this repetitive life, Nina becomes more and more numb. When commander came to the attic, she undressed and was ready to offer her body as usual. Commander looks at Nina with mixed feelings. He turned and left the soldier Saturday around the campfire at night, bragging about how many women they had raped. Commander listened in silence. He thought of his fellow Soviets, who had suffered at the hands of the Germans, and his heart tingled. But what they're doing now is no different than what the Nazis did in Germany. After that day, Commander often came to Nina's attic with food. At the same time, he would give some shelter to the people in the building, and Nina gradually becomes dependent on Commander. One day there was a sudden noise in the building, and a German Nazi was caught stealing food. A group of soldiers immediately searched. Watching the soldiers' violence, the Commander intervened to stop it. He even turned against his countrymen and fought with them. He has to keep the building safe. This is all about Nina, obviously. And he finally understands that he is in love with Nina, the strong Berlin woman. After the drama, Nina knows Commander really wants to protect them. Their relationship grew closer and closer. More and more women in Berlin begin to follow her example, surviving under the protection of soldiers. They look forward to the day when Germany's leaders will free them from their nightmare. On the 30th of April 1945, with Hitler's suicide, Berlin fell. The Soviet Union eventually won the war. In the streets, the Soviet soldiers are constantly partying. The women in the room were held by the officers and danced to celebrate the victory. But the German women were not happy and their last hope was gone. While everyone is partying, 
A soldier accidentally discovers a young girl hiding in the attic. The soldier was about to rape the girl when a gunshot was heard behind him. The girl's hiding a German Nazi in the attic. The Nazi fired at the soldiers but missed them. He was pushed to his death from the stairs by the soldier during the fight. To keep Nina and the building safe, Commander shoots the girl for harboring the Nazis. Nina knows that Commander does what he does for himself. They talked all night long, subtle feelings flowing between them. But when Commander invites Nina to leave and travel to Moscow with him, she refuses because she had to wait for her husband to come home. Commander did not force her, but as he turns to leave, Nina hugs him tightly. She paid him back one last time with her body. Only this time, Nina volunteered. Meanwhile, Nina's husband has finally returned home. She showed her husband the journal in which he had recorded her experiences over the past days. But she got no consolation, only humiliation from her husband. Nina rushes out of the house to find the departing commander. He was accused of harboring the Germans and was about to be sent to Siberia. Nina takes his hand and thanks him. She thanked him for his long protection. After saying goodbye, Nina comes home. While her husband went mad and broke everything, he left two days later. Nina's not sad. Berlin was rebuilding, and her life had to go on. The humiliation of war is indelible. Only by remembering and recalling the past can we look to the future. This movie sharing is over. If you like this video, you can subscribe. See you next time.